So uh, the lab asked us to uh, write a, a class of sales tax based on the bank account uh, example in the textbook. Uh, <coughs> so if you read the, uh, the assignment, it actually tells you uh, t tells us to uh, write a constructor except uh, two parameter input. One is the <coughs> state sales tax rate, and the other one is county sales tax rate. So this one should be put in a constructor. And then we write a method to calculate the sales tax and <coughs> calculate the total sales tax. And the total cost means the price plus the tax and then return the sales tax and return the total cost. <coughs> so and here's what I have. <coughs> Okay, so it's my uh, public class cell text. And so I put all my instance variable as the private. I have the state tax rate, county tax rate, purchasing, uh, purchase price, and then total cell tax and total cost. <coughs> so uh, the total cost basically is the purchasing plus sales tax. Okay, so here's my constructor, uh, sales tax constructor, and the <coughs> two input. First is the state tax rate, second is the county tax rate. And since I'm calling them the same, so I assign to my instance variable using this to make sure that's assigned to the instance variable. So this dot the state tax rate equal the state tax rate which is in the input. Mm -hmm. And then uh, do the same thing for the county tax rate. So assign <coughs> this county tax rate. There, yeah, that's my uh, constructor. And well, I probably should also assign this to zero, but it turns out the Java seems to automatically assign those undeclared in instant variable to zero. So it's okay. <coughs> and then uh, this is my method to calculate the uh, sales tax for a uh, purchasing price. The purchasing price is given here. And uh, the question is actually unclear whether the, it should be a single purchasing or multiple purchasing. The way I'm doing it, actually, I, I, I write my method can also do multiple purchasing. So my purchasing, the actual purchase cost is actually equal purchase plus price, which is the input. And then my total sales tax is basically the purchasing uh, price and then times the total tax rate, which is the state plus county tax rate. And my total cost is the sales tax, sales tax here, plus the purchasing price. So, so all the calculation is done here. And then added uh, those required uh, return method. So return the sales tax method is get total sales tax because the return is double, so this has to be double. But the calculation, I'm not returning anything, so I set my calculation as a void. And then return the total cost. This is double, return total cost. And <clears throat> a question didn't ask me to do this, but I also added a method, say, print out a receipt. Uh, it's, it's, it's simple, otherwise I have to do this many times if I want to debug it. So it, the question actually didn't ask me to do this, but it's, if I add this one, it's making my life a little easier while debugging this. So print the receipt, I just say, print out the purchasing price, sales tax, and total cost. That way when I'm debugging it, it it's much easier to show this. So I compile this. Okay, so I actually didn't write the main software, uh, main program to test this. I, I'm going to take advantage of the BlueJ, just compile on, compile directly. So run, I, I just, so this is, let's say, <coughs> uh, state uh, T, well, 
tendency. And the question say we 0.06 for state, 0.04 for county. Okay, there I have the instant object created here. And then I'm going to make my purchasing. And the first purchasing, how much should I say? $100. Okay. Once I get that $100 there, I, I can, well, check uh, what's my uh, sales tax. About get sales tax, $10. Okay, that seems to be right. right. Uh, 6% plus 4%, 10%. 10% of 100 is $10. Okay, so in fact, I can just inspect the whole instance right now, right? So my private state tax rate is 6%, my county tax rate is 4%, my purchasing price is $100, my sales tax is $10, my total cost is 110 That seems to be correct. Right? So, but I want to make sure all the method also, oh, this one I $10, total cost 110 print out the receipt, Oh, that's this one, 100, 10, 10, 1, 10, 10. Okay, maybe I should clear this one off. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, but if I make a second purchasing, so this time, let me add another one, say uh, $50, my second purchasing. And then if I check, well, <clears throat> a tax, I didn't change the tax rate, so it's this 6%, 4%. But my per total purchasing price now is 150, and my total sales tax now 15, and my total cost, uh, total payment should be 150 plus 15, 165. So this seems to be correct. All right. So if I print out a receipt, right, 150, 15, 165. So double check that's the correct. And I can also get a total cost. Make sure well. That's the 165, total sales, 15. Okay. Uh, the, the question actually asks us to do some other method. Method return total cost, I return that, return total sex. Uh, sales tax, I got this one. Another method calculating the total cost by adding a, this one, I had the method, calculate the sales tax. Oh, I think to write a separate method. <coughs> I, I think to skip this method though. But it's fine. I I, <coughs> I guess according to the question, uh, <coughs> I should put that one into a separate method. Uh, <coughs> that actually, uh, that actually provide a logical uh, conundrum because every time I, I put the price, I, I want to make sure the total cost is updated. But I can still add that method since the question requires me to do. So I'm going to say public void <coughs> update uh, total cost, total cost. That should be a void method. <coughs> so, Total cost equal that. Right. But the way I'm going to make sure this is, every time this is wrong, I'm going to call this inside of my uh, calculator sales tax method. So <coughs> let's compile this and make sure it's working. <coughs> okay, it's working. Let's, let's do this again, 0 0.06, 0 0.04. Okay, and this time, whoops, uh, nothing there. This time I'm going to say the price is 200, how about 200. All right, so let's see, 200, total sales tax, 200, that's correct. Okay. So <clears throat> if I clear, clear out my previous <coughs> one, say print, Receipt. All right, it's two hundred. And uh, if I make another purchase, <coughs> I'd say fifty dollars. That should be two hundred fifty now. So okay, so it's two hundred fifty, twenty five. That seems to be correct. Right. 
So, right, so basically all my instance variable are private uh, and the only return things is the printer receipt outside. Uh, printer receipt and also uh, get total cost and get total sales tax. And the question asks us, ask us to use a method to update the total cost. I write the method. But since I want to make sure every time I put a price, the cost will be automatically updated. So I call my method inside of my, uh, uh, the pricing method here. All right. So that's my uh, recording.